Hello everybody, welcome back to Steve's Gear. I had a few packages in the mail today and I thought we'd just go ahead and check them out. Um, this one here is the new Arcfeld UV from Olight. So I picked this up on the most recent sale. Uh, we'll kind of take a look at the box. I picked this one up in the neutral white. I've really grown to kind of like that neutral light. Um, there's some specs on the back. We'll kind of go over a few of them. Uh, that's pretty much it for the box. So we'll go ahead and open this up. I haven't opened it up yet, so I don't even haven't even checked it out yet. So we'll see what you all get in the box. Alright, so we have the little README card. Talks about some of the specs. We have the user's manual. Looks like some warning documentation. We have the magnetic charger. So if you guys are familiar with Olight, you've probably seen a lot of those. And then we got the light itself. So we'll go ahead and get some of this stuff out of the way. All right, we'll pull this out of the bag. I always forget how small these are until I actually hold one. Yeah, this is the new Arcfield UV. So it's got a few changes over the original, uh, and I do have an original with me, so we'll go ahead and kind of compare some of the some of the differences. I picked this one up in the OD Green. I like OD Green things. I have a few things from Olight that are OD Green. But this one had a few changes that I was interested in. Um, just in case you were unfamiliar of how this works, it just hooks on there magnetically, plug it in USB, and that's how you charge it. We'll get that cable out of the way. But yeah, they made a few changes to this light. I mean, to be honest with you guys, the Arcfield wasn't my favorite light from Olight. Um, I have one, so I have one of the kind of the lime green ones that came in one of the sales. Um, and this one has the laser. Now, I really didn't use this light too much, to be honest. Um, you know, it's been kind of just sitting on the shelf. But I thought we'd use it for some comparisons because there was a few changes. So the light itself, just in case you have never seen this one or you're unfamiliar, um, it has five modes uh, built into it as far as light output goes. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch. It's got a little toggle here that switches between UV and the light. Um, so we'll keep it on the light. And then we have comes in lockout mode when you first get it. So it's got a little battery indicator there when you power it on and off. You kind of see how the battery charge is. And then when you power it on, um, if you hold the button down, you can access that moonlight mode, which gives you one lumen with eight days of runtime. And then um, you can access the low mode, which is 15 lumens for 41 hours. And then if you click it again, you're going to access medium mode for 80 lumens for 12 hours and 50 minutes. And you go up to high, you're going to get 300 lumens for one hour, 140 minutes. And then it'll drop down to 60 lumens for 20 minutes. And then if you double tap, you will access the 1,000 lumen turbo mode for four minutes. And then it will kick down to 300 lumens for 110 minutes. So does have some decent brightness um, you know it's not the brightest light but then you got to kind of pay attention to the form factor of it now I'll be interested to see because I know they had to change the reflector in the light due to the fact that it has the UV in there so if you look at the original one I don't know if you're gonna be able to see the difference but you'll see that the reflectors are a little bit different um, so if you're just looking at that one and that one so the beam is a little bit different. I believe it's a little bit more of a flood beam now, which actually is okay with me. Um, I kind of like the flood beams on small lights, so I'll probably be all right with that. Um, and then that's that UV light that's new in there. And then the old one has just the laser pointer. So a few changes that I know of. I watched a few videos on it, um, and it has the textured grip on the sides. The original one doesn't have the textured grip and then it is slimmer at the end now so if you can kind of see the, the difference in the slimness 
so this end piece isn't quite as thick um, they've kind of just shaved off a little bit of the magnetic ring which I actually kind of like that it feels more uniform to me now this one always had felt like I had a weird bump down there um, so I do like the thin the more thin style I think that was a good upgrade the texture I mean it does add some but I mean it's not anything substantial and you know my opinion um, but the biggest upgrade for me was the pocket clip so it's now the double style clip so the original one just had this one you know just a single clip and if you've watched any of my videos you know that I like to clip lights on the hats so now this one will be able to be clipped on a hat so you'll be able to access, use that little inside clip there to clip it right on a hat and then you'll be able to hold it on a hat so because I do a lot of things with my hands when I'm working so it's nice to be hands free with that clip so that's going to be a big upgrade for me um, kind of compare those two clips so it is a little bit different um, just had some more the more traditional Olight clip how it's kind of more recessed into the body um, it feels a little bit looser in my opinion it's looser but it feels like it's I don't know it feels like it's more durable this one always felt a little bit really stiff like if you were to bend it too much it would just bend it permanently this one has more spring to it in my my opinion so I, I think the clip was a big upgrade size wise I mean they're the exact same length um, and then for the new mode you can just flip the switch over to UV and then now you have that UV light so the UV light I don't know like all the power outputs for UV I don't have those kind of stuff I'm not very you know very technical when it comes to it um, but it is 580 MW I'm not even sure what MW stands for wavelength is 365 NM I'm not really sure what that is either and it's got a runtime of four hours with that UV light so UV light I mean I don't use UV light very much you know it's kind of kind of a novelty but I do travel to a lot of hotels so it's always kind of fun to, to play with the UV light um, you just never know what you're gonna pick up um, you know and you can use them in all different types of places but you know I've seen a lot of uh, demonstrations of people using them for banknotes and I know certain types of insects and stuff will light up different colors um, with the UV light so that's kind of cool I think it'll be kind of kind of a novelty just like the laser pointer I mean I don't have any kids I don't have any pets or anything I don't do any kind of presentations on any kind of boards so the I always thought that the laser pointer would be a cool idea on the original one but I never used it so um, the UV light you know might use it I did grab a bill here real quick I do have a hundred on me and we'll just see if this thing picks up anything um, different with the UV light like I said I don't know like you'll be able to see that that security strip in it so I mean, you, I guess you could use it to, you know, verify some money if you wanted to. I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up, but you can see that security strip in it. So that's kind of cool. You can see all the different letters and stuff in it. So that's pretty neat. Um, I've never had to verify money, but I guess it's not a bad idea. I'm picking up something on my little, my little table here, but um, yeah. Just kind of a, I want to do kind of an unboxing. Maybe I'll use it for a little bit here one of these days. Maybe I'll do an update of how it's worked out for me. But I feel like I can use it more now just because of that clip. I mean, that clip really is a game changer for me. And I like the fact that it's fairly uniform all the way down. I mean, it's got a little bit of a bump down here in the bottom, but a lot smaller than the original. I'll bring that one back in so you can kind of get a side by side of how the original one looked um, but I do like this form factor better and the grip I mean it's to be that's to be determined if that's going to be really effective or not um, but yeah that's just kind of a quick unboxing and uh, let me know if you picked up one you know what color you got if you went with the cool white or the bright white 
Um, or if you have the original one, you know, how much, you know, do you like it? What do you like to use it for? But yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks for checking out the unboxing, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.